It's been a while since I've posted anything uh, about what's going on in the garage, so I figured I'd put an update out there this weekend. So on my 65 Fastback, the 347 uh, was, was built by a, a local guy here in Pennsylvania, Sonny. I uh, did an awesome job on it. It's been running great. I've got a little over 500 miles on it now, ready to change out the break-in oil and, and do its first oil change. At the Holly Super Sniper EFI setup with the HyperSpark timing control, which I had Mitch Kaufman tune for me. Um, what, what a difference. I know they say that it's self-learning, but it, it didn't run very good at all when it was first set up after, after he worked on it for it for a couple of days and it, it runs great. I uh, added a little bit of carbon fiber. This is from Foreman Fiber Works up in Connecticut. Check these guys out. They make some really cool stuff for the early Mustangs. I got the radiator filler panel from them. And I also got this spoiler on the back, which I love. I got it in the matte finish just to kind of match the old raggedy look of the car here. Um, inside, haven't really changed anything. I had to put some floor mats in there. Uh, same seats I've had. I picked my daughter up from prom last night, so you can see that seat is covered in sparkles. I'm gonna have to clean that up. Uh, nothing, nothing else on the 65. As I said, it's, it's been running great. I'm um, just finally getting to enjoy it, take it to some local cruisings and stuff. And here a couple of weeks ago, I picked up this 65 convertible. Um, I actually painted this car for a friend back in 2015. This is a really solid, rust-free, original A-code four-speed car. Uh, the engine was rebuilt probably about 15 years ago and only a few hundred miles were put on it. Um, I just freshened it up with some new gaskets, some fresh paint, new hoses, oil filters. Uh, I got a few more things to do before I'm ready for, for its first run. I repainted the engine bay. As you can see, super clean. It's probably the most rust-free Mustang I've I've worked on. I'm doing a little bit of buffing work on it. Uh, the new top is being put on in a couple of weeks by Seacrest here in Chambersburg. And I got some final assembly to do and then unfortunately going to be selling this. I, I wanted to keep it, but just trying to haul the kids around with a car that only has lap belts. Uh, the wife, wife and I didn't think that was the best idea. Here's the two-tone interior. This is it's been refurbished, but it is the original color combination for the car. It's Caspian blue with the, with the white and blue interior in the original four speed. Uh, it had a, a dealer installed eight track setup. It's a rally pack, which the, the clock does work. I'll test the tack once I get it running. Uh, top switch, uh, convertible top does run up and down. They said that the, the top is trashed, it needs to be replaced. These are original quarters. Everything on the car is original. It's just, it's super clean. So really excited about this one. Pop the door open. There you go, just the nice fit and finish of all the original metal. And trunk wise, there's a little bit of surface rust here and there, but Again, original drop downs, original trunk floor, original wiring. Amazing how, how good a shape this thing is in. Left the original paint on the bottom side of the trunk. Uh, all the exterior has been repainted though. Again, no, no rust, just super clean. So, uh, lots of new parts. Bumpers, upholstery, all the odds and ends, uh, steering wheel, door panels, horn ring, the hockey stick chrome for around the convertible top, uh, the glove box, the heater core, the, the heater plenum. Decided to go to the dual ball master cylinder. I know it's not original, but this is going to be a good driving car. I want to make sure it's safe before I, I go and sell it and have somebody else driving it. 
Uh, the, the 53 F100 Coyote Swap Project, I have it stored at a shop up the road. I'm just out of room right now trying to get this, this convertible finished. As soon as the convertible's done, I've, I've got a couple customer cars to work on. And then hopefully in the fall, I'll get back on the truck and have it ready for spring next year. Here is the AM radio out of my 65, and here is the 8-track setup that is gonna get cleaned up and go back into the convertible here. Uh, new speaker, there's the dark blue carpet for the convertible. The convertible came with the original boot, but it's it's got a couple of cracks in it and stuff, so I'll be replacing it as well. Uh, it also came with an original air conditioning unit. It was not an original air conditioning car, but, um, but it did come with the setup. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with that yet. Got the compressor for it as well. And this one did originally have power steering. Not a fan of the original style power steering at all. So I decided to go back to manual steering on it. Um, if I were to keep the car, I would probably go with the electric or the Borgensen box, most likely. I just, I'm not a fan of the stock power steering setup right here. Just, it has a lot of slop to it. And I want a nice, tight, comfortable driver. Uh, that's about it, so I'll, I'll post some more videos when this car is finished and ready to be posted for sale, so keep an eye out for that.